Many women who come to college dream of joining a sorority for reasons such as sisterhood, philanthropy, and leadership. Some students even choose universities over others based on the Greek life on campus. Unlike many colleges, SME rushes in the spring. Some benefits of spring rush include making friends in the fall without the confines of the Greek system and getting a sense of which house you feel like you fit into. However, some feel that spring rush leaves more time for potential new members to be scrutinized and unfair advantages to those who have in-house connections. Haley Minnick rushed this spring and decided to withdraw from the process. And I just was like, this isn't really for me. I was like, why am I going into something that like, you're just going in to pay for friends and these are friends that, you know, judged you beforehand and aren't really get, and they're not, not really getting to know you. Like you only get like 10 minutes with a person and like they're judging you based off of those 10 minutes when you could be getting to know them on a different level, you know? And so I was like, this just isn't for me. I was like, I don't have the time or energy to sit and put effort into something where I'm not gonna get that same effort back. It just wasn't for me, so. While Haley believed Greek life in general was not the right fit for her, other girls decide to withdraw because they are not asked back by their favorite houses, despite having other houses still interested in them. According to the Panhellenic Council, the actual number of women not asked back by any houses is in the single digits. Um, so I think one of the biggest things is concerning pledge class. So I think so often everyone says, oh, pledge class, you have 60 spots in each chapter. Um, but pledge class is based off of how many women are in the process on bid day, on preference round. Um, so if you have 600 women in the process on preference round, there would be 600 spots between all the chapters. Um, so I think that's one of the biggest things is they say 600 girls are going through recruitment, but we only have 400 spots. I hear that so often and every time I have to correct it because it's not true. So it's how many women you have bases your pledge class number. So. Withdrawing from the process can be a heartbreaking decision, leading some women to even transfer schools as a result. But those who are resilient decide to rush again. Kelsey Hodge is one of them. When it didn't work out the first time, I knew that it wasn't because of me. Like I knew there was nothing wrong with me. I think I had enough um, self-confidence to know that like, oh, I could still be a part of something like that because I did make it all the way to PREF the first time around. So it was like, and I had gone to the house and it's like, oh, like I should be hearing like people in the house, you know, feeling a connection with them and knowing like, no, those are my people. I'm supposed to be there just because it didn't work out this first time. If you stick by it, like, like try it again and do it again. Websites like Greek Rank promote a social hierarchy of the houses, leading many women to have misconceptions and form stereotypes around them. The website is a breeding ground for hateful gossip and misinformation. Just people, it is a place where people who literally have no idea about the process go. And so that's what's really frustrating, like from my end, and like especially with all the rogue gamas, is like we give them the information they need to tell PMs when they have questions. And so it's always hard because PMs would rather go to Greek Rank and like get their answers rather than talk to a person on Panhellenic. That is actually knowledgeable. One of the most common rumors is the importance of legacy. While having legacy can give you a leg up in many houses, the significance depends on the house and is confidential. Kelsey Hodge says that being on the other side of the process has opened her eyes to some of the reasons it didn't work out for her the first year. Being on the other side of recruitment, it made me realize like, okay, Kelsey, that's why it didn't work out your freshman year because you weren't going on rush dates. People, you weren't going on rush dates and People just didn't know that you wanted to go through recruitment. Sororities are not everything, but they can be a great way to make friends and be more involved with your community. To the girls who are thinking of rushing again at SMU, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. If you have questions concerning recruitment, email SMU Panhellenic at panhellenic.smu.edu. For SMU Look, I'm Audrey Johnson.